Thank you for joining us, everyone. We are coming to you now with some breaking news right now happening in Dallas. Chopper 11 over uh, what is a high-speed police chase. Uh, that is taking place in the northwest part of Dallas. We've been following this for a couple of minutes now. As you can see, the black Cadillac there, the sedan, has been running from police for a little bit now. We have seen this car uh, driving at high rates of speed, and it looks like it just collided with a car there at the intersection. So the front part, the front, the left hand side of that car seems to be damaged, as you can see right now. But that's not stopping the car uh, from taking off right now. Police have been in pursuit, and let's wait here because it looks like it might be coming to an end. That car looks like it is now wrecked out off to the side. And it looks like somebody's going to be getting off the uh, passenger side. White T-shirt. And it looks like the police are not, they're not going to be too far behind. Uh, we've seen DPD and sheriff's office uh, deputies in pursuit of this car for the past couple of minutes. This all began in Mesquite, we're told, from uh, some kind of what was supposed to be a routine traffic stop. Uh, and then that driver took off. Uh, on police. Again, that uh, chase going through the northwest part of Dallas, uh, lasting for several minutes now. And as you can see, the driver of that car or somebody from inside that car has exited now, hands up in the air, waiting on the sidewalk. Uh, presumably, the uh, police officers are uh, not too far from there. Uh, we did see them uh, chasing this, uh, this suspect throughout the streets. Uh, Madison, uh, you're joining us now as well. Give us a better idea of where this is taking place. Hey, Ken, so right now they are at uh, basically the interchange very close to Webb Chapel and Royal Lane. So this would be right in that heart of northwest Dallas where this is a very busy spot, especially for the lunchtime hour. And so keep in mind that the speeds of this chase reached 90 miles per hour at times, maybe even faster. And so at one point, the cops got pretty far behind this chase. So they were relying on their chopper to be able to truly track the moments uh, of this vehicle uh, ending in that collision. And then that kind of really postponed that chase. And so that's kind of when it all started slowing down. So it took a moment for cops to actually get on scene to arrest uh, the suspect. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, speaking to that point, uh, Madison, you can see the suspect is now on the ground with his hands behind his back. Uh, the helicopter camera, it, it zoomed in pretty close there. So uh, you can see the suspect. You can see the car. Now a police officer with a gun drawn uh, on the suspect. You can see another police officer. Looks like a sheriff's deputy uh, also approaching him as well. You can see that he was uh, sort of obeying the commands that were coming from law enforcement officials. He stood outside of the car. He had his hands up in the air, uh, dropped to the ground, and right now with his hands behind his back, and as you can see, uh, a police officer there uh, placing that suspect into, uh, in, into some handcuffs there. Uh, not sure if there's anybody else inside that car. That's what we see that other police officer checking for uh, sort of on the left-hand side of your screen. But again, that black Cadillac uh, had uh, been eluding police. It led them on a very high-speed police chase throughout different parts of Dallas. And again, we're told that this began in Mesquite. Uh, it was supposed to be some sort of a traffic stop. Uh, and we don't know yet for what reasons, but that driver took off on police, led them on a very dangerous chase uh, that uh, reached some very, uh, the, the um, speed was in excess of 90 miles an hour at some point, as you heard Madison talk about. Uh, we know that uh, he traveled up and down Harry Hines, uh, and this is the, near the area of uh, Royal was the last sort of um, street marker that we know that he was traveling on northbound, uh, in, in the northbound direction of Royal Lane. Uh, in Dallas. But as you can see, this has now come to an end. Uh, what was uh, just a couple of minutes ago a very, very, very dangerous situation seems uh, to be concluding here uh, with that uh, driver. He wrecked out, made a right hand turn uh, and, and hit a car. That caused the front end of the vehicle that the driver was, uh, was in to sort of come apart, really. Uh, it happened quickly. The uh, tire looked like it blew out. And at some point, that car uh, hopped the curb onto the sidewalk there. Guy came out of the car, hands up in the air, and now he is in police custody. So, uh, again, this is a uh, developing situation happening in Dallas. We're going to continue to monitor it, but we did want to break in here uh, on uh, Facebook and uh, online, cbsdfw.com, to bring you the very latest on this. You're going to want to stay with us throughout the day for more information on this high-speed police chase that has now ended. Thanks for joining us.